So, uh, we're here for some Fallout 4. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, man, you, uh, you didn't play Fallout 3. You'd be right. I, uh, I played a little bit, uh, for some live streaming stuff, which was pretty fun. But, uh... Yeah, it just didn't grip me. And so I'm really hoping that the story of Fallout 4 is significantly better. And some people have said that it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure that those people that are really trying to encourage me to get a bit more into it. Uh, so that's cool. I can... I'm gonna give it a shot. Keep a really open mind and see how things uh, shake down, so... Yeah, uh, should we just dive right in, guys? I think we should just dive right in and see how it goes. Thanks to everybody for coming out. I think this is gonna be, uh, tons of fun. And, uh, we'll see how it goes, shall we? For those people that will ask, um... Yes, it's- I'll put up whatever I record on YouTube. And... I will, uh, continue streaming this for the next, you know, little while. Until, uh, until we get bored or whatever happens. I'm going in with no expectations, no commitments. Just gonna have some fun with Fallout 4. Alright? His OG's saying it'll take some time, but you'll love this game. Alright, cool. New game it is. The anticipation. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. <laughs> I love that there's some actual live action stuff. That's cool. War I'm gorgeous. Never changes. You're going to knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. <laughs> right, and we don't move anyway. So, I guess what? I could probably... My turn, big guy. Okay. So what, we can slide. be male or female, and we can do... 
probably a lot of customization. I probably won't spend too much time seeing as how we probably won't even see our face very often. It'll be interesting to see what we have available. Are all these faces standard? I kind of like this. I have an affinity towards white hair. Like, there's not much that I can say about that. I like it. Hey, hey, odd fanboy. Thanks for the sub, dude. Or dudette. Oh, we can actually just, like, drag it around. That's pretty cool. There's my strapping husband. Oh, that's so cool. That's a really smart way of doing this, actually. Make the ears do whatever we want. That's wild. Okay, okay. Looking good. If I do say so. Lady Voxy, thanks for the sub. Five months in a row? Seriously? You're the best. Uh, color of the eyes? Nice. They're one of my favorite things about you. Me too. I feel like a lot of the adjustments, they're pretty subtle. Uh, which isn't such a bad thing. We could crooked our nose up a little bit if we wanted to. Hun. Have some character. You think my nose is too big? <laughs> you think my nose is too big? We definitely need some blemishes. Let's see. I'd prefer, like, less acne and more war scars. Is that an option? Sun scorched, red nose. This is what you call a whiskey nose? That's what that is. And that's bad. That's bad. So is it true you play as a- you can play as a male or a female? Or are these like... Your parents or something? Um... I'm not really digging any of these, to be honest. We could do... Let's just say rough face. Oh. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah, looking great. Damage. Yeah, here's what I'm talking about. I like that. I like that. It looks like we could even fade it a bit too. Okay, so you can play as a male or a female. That's cool. That's cool. Holy, this is like there's a lot going on in here. I would I'm definitely going to take a scar, not so much stitches. But uh I like this. And can we fade it? Yeah. Okay, I'm what down. Do think, I like that. Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Or both. I think freckles are good. Can we tone down the freckles a bit? Oh, that's. I bet you people I have made some pretty with. cool uh, characters in this, actually. Body. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously. Uh, hello. Be like mega jacked, super thin, scrawny. I think we go somewhere between muscular and large, but crossing into this territory, like I'm not going to be very efficient out there in the wastes. No pun intended. Let's just go here. Okay, I like this face. I like this face. I think I'm going to play as a male. Uh, yeah, you probably could make Walter White, actually. That's pretty cool. Where'd the scar go? I thought I had that. Damage. Oh, Scar. Very strapping. It's like not staying for some reason. Oh, I know why. That's my bad. I'll tone it down a bit and then I accept. Pretty nice. No, it's not staying. Why? Oh, I have to apply it. Oh, cool. Okay, okay, okay. So handsome. I look good. I look good. <laughs> it does kind of look like a, it's like I mean it's Geralt in the sense that it has a, like a white hair and an old face, but not totally Geralt. Let's go. I'm happy with the way that she looks. Way of the future. So this is Nora. Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? Yeah, why don't I do that? Okay. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 
173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Rule to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. I'm not gonna lie, I would love to have one of these. And I guess I do. Sugar bombs sugar activate. 100% daily value of sugar. <laughs> sugar bombs. Love it. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. That's cool. Grognak uh, the Barbarian, isn't that from Fallout 3, maybe? Hmm. More the same. Okay. Oh, sound like someone made a stick. I shall attend to young Shaw. We've got a little one. You know, Codsworth. I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Goddamn Canadians ruining everything, right? Okay, let's go check on the little one. Hey, Sean. Hey, Codsworth. Don't worry about the dishes. That's my job. That is the best. Okay. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Salesman comes to us every day? I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Oh, that's cool. The special books. Blast Radius. Seems like an interesting game. Before I get the door, I just want to check things out here. Uh, some of you guys are asking about the audio settings. Make sure the voice is up as loud as possible. Come on, just answer the door and he'll go away. Yeah, I'm sure. Especially if he comes back all the time. Oh, look at this. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. No need to get dressed twice. I want to activate my sweater vests. Abraxo for all your cleaning needs. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. He's not gonna give up. Are we able to? Are we able to change the names? Is that what we're suggesting here? Oh, there he is. The has into a well, that's not sketchy. If you name your character Chris or Christopher, your robot will call you that. How do you name yourself? Nuka-Cola. Ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A+. Digging it. Hey, Jargonaut, thanks, man. Are you gonna get the Good morning, vault -Tec calling. Uh-huh. vault -Tec? vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Okay, what's the urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is, it's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time, time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, 
You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> um, so, where is this chronologically in relation to the previous story of Fallout 3? Or is it just a whole separate thing? But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Hey, thanks, Alan. Thank you very much. So this is um, 10 years later. No. Some people are saying 10 years later and some are saying 200 years before. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. So that's up for debate. Uh, hello? Yeah, sorry. Hello. Tell me more. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to join. I'm going to go. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so we can choose a name, I suppose. That works. And we have a couple of different things that we can go into. Our special skills, I suppose. Uh, this is going to be dependent on the type of character that we want to be. So I'm thinking um, intelligence is probably pretty important. Agility is a measure of overall finesse and reflex. It affects the number of action points. That's going to be pretty good. I'm going to toss five in for now. Charisma is going to be important. Endurance, overall physical fitness. It affects total health and the action point. Drain from sprinting. Uh, perception is your environmental awareness and sixth sense and affects weapon accuracy in VATS. Okay. And then strength affects how much you can carry and the damage of melee attacks. Now, I prefer not to work melee as much as I can, but carrying stuff is pretty important. Uh, critical hits for luck would be not bad. I think it's probably better to specialize in a few key areas. Um... Just to make sure that, like, we're more... Because we're, I think it's like, what's the phrase? It's uh, jack of all trades, but master of none. I actually prefer that uh, we specialize, you know? So, I think what I'll probably do is... Hmm. I'm going to drop agility a bit. Go intelligence, charisma... I think are going to be the two most important. For me, anyways, the way I like to play. Because if we can talk ourselves out of situations, that's something that I always prefer to do. Um, endurance seems to be health, and strength less so. Uh, if it's just about carrying, then I'll probably repurpose that into, like, charisma or intelligence. Intelligence makes sense because this is going to affect the number of experience points earned. Like, that's kind of a, uh, a no-brainer. Okay. Uh, Sparty, what I meant by jack-of-all-trades, not like a perk. Um, just like the, the phrase, you know, jack-of-all-trades, master of none. Because some people think that being like a jack-of-all-trades is a good thing. But oftentimes what it means is that you're... you're Kind of okay at everything, but you're not really excellent at one specific thing. So, uh, yeah. I think for now, I'm going to do something like this. And I'm sure we can do more later on. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, yeah. it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mm-hmm. Hey, hon. 
Wow, look at you. Sean has How to go oh, cool. ever get so lucky, huh? absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he That's crazy. He just, affection you seem to be so good at. He just used our real name. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Okay, I'm going. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? Hey, First Remnant, thank you very much for the sub, dude. Or Dudette. You know, I always say that and I feel bad. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. You got it. He looks a bit a little, like, tightly wrapped. Hey, that little guy. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Uh, yeah, and yeah, we could do that. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth? Oh God, what's wrong? He's panicking. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. <laughs> to think one day he's gonna learn how to drive oh god I feel like this is not gonna end great followed by, yes followed by flashes uh -oh. blinding flashes sounds of explosions we're uh, trying to get confirmation what we seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations we do, oh, we no. do have we do have coming in That's, it's uh, happening Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my it's God. happening. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Why don't we take the car that's out here? Residents of Sanctuary Hills. Where are you going? You are registered. Man, that was good timing on the guy coming to our door. I'll help you. Hey. All I have left. Hey. Yep, who cares about it? Let's go. I tried. Head to the gate. Both participants, check in there. Going, going. That's absurd. I am Not on the list. Back. You don't get in. I'm going Thanks in. for the host, Luckless. Sure. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this. We need to get in. We're on the list. Oh God, we're gonna die. Infant. This is it. Adult the male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Head to Good the luck, ma'am. Oh, well, these soldiers, me. man. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're doing the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. No, they're just gonna keep them out. Hold on. Hey there. Vault elevators on top of the hill. Move it. Excuse me. Get moving. My God, they're not gonna let them in. People should know you always say yes to the door-to-door -door salesman of vaults. In the center. All right, that's it. Send it down. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. Oh my God! Holy hell! Send it down now. Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Look at this. The shockwave. Oh go, go, go! Oh God. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. Great. A better future, 
Underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no. We'd all be... Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Nora, are you okay? It's gonna be okay, right? Yeah, go. Okay, I'll lead the way. Please keep moving. Up the stairs and through the door. Levels are good. Hey! Hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. <laughs> Great, can't wait. Can't Female wait. Female and infant. Good. Take a vault seat, then head down the hall. Right over there, please. Just step over to the table. Yeah, looks over fine. there. Take a suit. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. It's down the hallway right there. Okay, got it. Thanks. See? I'll follow your doctor. This is our new home. Oh, is he okay? You're love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. One Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How, how long do you think we'll be down it? here? I know this oh, we'll be going time. over all that in but orientation. Just a few medical it. items we have to get through first. Fit, don't you think? They're all the so casual. Just fashionable. checking everyone Let's off the list as they come in. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. What is this? I hope you'll see this as your new home. Wait, what is this? Wait. Hey there. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Just step into the chamber. Oh, it's a decontamination pod. Okay, okay. Sean's acting up. Well, in that case. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Sean's gonna freak out in there. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure How long does this take? Complete. In. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fuck, I knew it! This is not decontamination! Are we being. Okay, it's just crazy, but are we being cryogenically frozen here? Is this what's happening right now? Oh my god. Okay, okay. Wow. This is the one. Here. Open it. Don't, 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 don't give it. Let the boy go. I Whoa. Once. No, don't do it. The, I'm the backup. Okay. 